So, ladies and gentlemen, if I want to simplify this, um, the main important thing is we've talked about adding, subtracting, all right? And when you add and subtract, you've got to have them in like terms. Well, the same thing when we're multiplying, we can multiply across. However, we have a problem here. If we're going to be dividing, all right, when we're dividing, um, one thing is, you know, we can't divide into by our radical. So what I'm going to want to do is I want to see, can I simplify either the square root of 5 or the square root of 20? And let's kind of go off to the side. Well, I can simplify the square root of 20. I can rewrite that as square root of 4 times 5, right? Now, some of you might say, well, well yeah, Ms. Brigolo, but you can also do square root of 20 as the square root of 10 times 2, right? Right? Now, why do we want to do it this way rather than that way? Does anybody want to raise their hand and tell me that? Yes, exactly, because 4 is a square number. We know what the square root of 4 is. The square root of 4 is 2, right? So I get 2 radical 5. But ladies and gentlemen, over here, do you know what the square root of 10 is or the square root of 2? No. No. So even though this is mathematically fine, it's not going to help us simplify it. So what I do is now I can rewrite this as 4 radical 5 divided by, oh, I'm sorry, not radical 20, but uh, 2 radical 5. And then what you guys will notice, Stephen, is that the radical fives cancel out, and you get four divided by two, which just equals two. And there's done. That's it. Well, that's cool. Okay.